whale sharks here at the Georgia Aquarium. In the entire world, there are less than five aquariums that house whale sharks. And we're the only aquarium in North America that has them. So we have Trixie, Taroko, and Yushan. This is Alice. She really, really wants to be on camera. <laughs> the whale sharks are housed in Ocean Voyager. They actually built the exhibit especially to be able to house several adult whale sharks. The exhibit is 6.3 million gallons and is about the length of a football field. So they have lots of room to swim and glide. Trixie is our largest. She's just shy of 27 feet long and she weighs over 9,000 pounds. They're the largest species of shark currently. So we're talking very large animals here. The Georgia Aquarium wouldn't have been able to house whale sharks had they not practiced and perfected the techniques that enables the aquarists to care for them. They're the main reason that people visit the Georgia Aquarium. Our whale shark, Yushan, is swimming very tight right circles. So all of the muscles on the left-hand side of his body can atrophy. Today we've decided to do a blood draw on Yushan in the hopes that it will tell us something more about what might be going on with him. Okay? Yep. You got it. Yep. My best shot. This is my first rodeo actually drawing the blood on a whale shark. I don't know how fast he's gonna be swimming today, but I do have to swim pretty quickly to keep up with him. And then Yushan's skin is very tough, so we're gonna use a large, thick needle in order to pierce through his skin to get to the blood vessel. Here at the Georgia Aquarium, we developed a new method in order to get blood from the whale sharks. This entails decensing them to our presence so that they trust us when we're up close and personal with them so that we can actually get blood. In the past, in order to get blood, it would probably require, you know, putting them under anesthesia or restraining them, and this is a lot less invasive. The divers just went down, so they're going to find you, Sean, and somebody will be bottle feeding him some shrimp and some krill to get him to the back of the exhibit, and the other two divers will be working on collecting blood. We're looking into if there's inflammation that he has, if there's infection that he has. These animals, you know, they don't tell us what's wrong. They can't say, my tummy's upset or something like that. So there's not a lot of research done on sharks that say, yeah, this is specifically going on. But we want to know why. He's doing some tight circles. Leah's coming up. Shark's blood clots really quickly. So like we're not gonna be able to get what we need right now on this blood because I need it to not be clotted. So hopefully they get more. <laughs> That's what we're hoping right now. Let's see if this one isn't. Thank you. So this is good. The other was clotted, and this one is not. So we're really happy because we can run a complete blood cell count on this one. Kayla, nice job. <laughs> you did awesome. <laughs> See? No pressure. no pressure whatsoever. You did awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. If we see inflammation in the blood, we can give him some steroids. If there's an infection, we could definitely give him some antibiotics or something to try to make him feel better. Right now, we're just hoping that there's no concern. How's it going, Alan? Good, good. A few days 
weeks ago, we gave Yushan a steroid injection, and the hope was that he would start to not doing the tight right circling, and that's what we're hoping to see during the feed today. So I'm getting ready to do Yushan's 130 feed. As you can see, he's here waiting for me. So as soon as I put the boat in, he's going to engage with me, hopefully. We train these whale sharks to station for their feeds so that we can measure exactly how much food they're getting and so that we can monitor their behavior. Having them stationed with us multiple times a day is the best way that we can measure that. They're actually just sucking in anything and everything that's in front of their mouths. They'll collect all the food that they want to eat, and then they'll push all the water out of their gills. So they're actually like filtering the food out of the water. So Yushan looks like he's ready to go. We're hoping to see that his behavior has returned to normal and that he swims in a relatively straight line. See if I can get him in front of the boat a little bit. That's great. So I'm getting him engaging to the left. So anytime I can get him going left, I like to reinforce that. So right here is where he usually tries to start shading to the right. So I'm going to keep the ladle to his left side and reinforce every time he does another little tail kick straight. So trying to utilize the entire length of the exhibit. Come on, baby. You can do it, Yushi. So he's doing real good right here. There we go. Good job, buddy. This is really good. Yushan is looking a lot better than last week. We were definitely really worried about him. Today, he's swimming really strongly. He's eating all of his food. Can't miss any krill. <laughs> Make sure you Must get the food get in there. Every krill. <laughs> there was a lot of anxiety. We didn't know exactly what was going on with him. So to know that he's feeling better, just it just feels like I can breathe. <laughs> <laughs>